Hey 12th man, it's been a long off season, but football is finally back. And this season, we're bringing you a new series that gives you an inside look at who these players are off the field. I'm Haley Graves with Aggie Yesy Life, and joining me for the first time today is Daylon Mack. So Daylon, to get started, why don't you go ahead and tell everyone where they can follow you on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, at Daylon Mack on Twitter, and then uh, my Instagram name is MackB5. Would you say that you're a pretty big social media guy? Uh, I, I guess I'd say I would, yeah. And a big part of social media actually came about during your recruiting process and your time. Tell us a little bit about your recruiting process with AM. Yeah, um, it, it was pretty fun. Um, I, I really used Twitter to like interact with the fans. Um, the AM fans were actually some of the first followers that I started getting a lot of, so that was pretty cool. And um, just the things they would say to me, it showed that they really want me to come to their school. And if you could give advice to all any of the recruits right now, what piece of advice would you give them? Uh, take your time. Don't rush it. Um, I mean, a lot of a lot of recruits want to just commit on the spot. I mean, but really, all you do is commit, get your followers, and then nothing really changes. So, um, really, just take your time. Make sure you make the right decision. Why Texas A&M for you? Uh, well, I don't really think my parents were going to let me go out of the state. I don't think they really wanted me to. And uh, you know, I had I had a couple schools in my tops, uh, like LSU and TCU. But obviously, when Coach Chavis left LSU um, to come here, you know, that was a big deal for me. And I really think that was one of the uh, one of the things that just drew me to AM even more. So that's why. Well. You've been here a complete year now. What's been the biggest difference for you from last year's fall camp to this year's fall camp? Uh, <laughs> my weight. I'm way lighter than I was. Um, it's not as hot, really, as it was um, the first time, and just, and just I know more. I'm more mature, you know, and I know what it takes. In preparation, so this summer you had a long off season. What did you do specifically to get prepared for this season? Uh, just work out. I was on somewhat of a diet, really, um, but just uh, watch film, you know, um, talk about some goals with Coach Turner, things that I wanted to achieve this season, on and off the field, and also with my teammates. So just just stuff like that, and just. Really, uh, it was really more off the field stuff, you know, bonding more with my teammates, um, just, you know, being, being a closer uni unit to help us play harder for each other in the game. And speaking of goals, what are some specific goals that you've set for yourself as well as your team for this season? Uh, they're more uh, statistic, I don't really want to say them, but they're more statistic goals for, uh, for us. But um, one, of them, one of them is just being a closer unit, and I, I, think, I think we're really doing that. You know, we're closer, uh, we hang out more outside, outside of uh, being up here more. So I think that's really important for us. And also talking about bonding with your team, this summer you actually went on the Haiti mission trip. What was that experience like for you? Uh, it was fun. At the time, I really needed to take the trip because uh, I was going through some things in my life. And I think going up to Haiti helped me, you know, realize and helped me get past some of those struggles that I was going up, going up against. How do you think that a trip like that can impact a football team, and do you believe that it's helped here? Yeah, I, I believe it has helped. You know, it shows you that um, what you what you're going through is not as hard as what some other people are going through. You know, there was uh, one when we visited the school there. You know, um, there was no AC, and you know, I know that here, if there was no AC in the room, people would be complaining about how hot it was. But you know, the kids there, they were uh, in the room. You know, they weren't complaining. They were happy to be there, and they were happy for us to be there. You know, it made us feel good and to look past some of those things and bringing that back over here, you know, it, it helped us show that some, you know, these struggles are, it's really not bad, you know, so. And now, Daylon, we've talked before about this and you mentioned it being a commentator in Haiti. So I'm going to put you on the spot right now and give me your best ESPN commentator impression. Oh, um, yeah, you definitely put me on the spot with that <laughs> one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I really can't. I really can't do one right now. You could do it, Daylon. I really can't. <laughs> that, that was a tough one. You definitely put me on the spot with that one. All right. Well, Daylon, thank you so much for joining me. Good luck with the rest of fall camp and the rest of the season. And 12th Man, make sure you stay tuned for next week's episode of My Life.